Hello, my beautifuls from the sign of Ares. Don't forget my readings are timeless. So when you find this reading, that was the time that I meant to find you. Um, don't forget this is a general reading, so take what it resonates, leave what it doesn't. And we start with the message, the message from the universe. And I say, my capacity to tune into the energy of love, give me the words I need when I am ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it is time to forgive and the power I need when, it's, when I am lost. This is beautiful, my heiress. So don't forget that message, okay? Um, tune up to the energy of love in your life. Oh, okay, don't forget I'm giving away this uh, set of title card. Uh, for the people that like, subscribe, and comment in my videos. Okay. If you are already subscribed, you only have to like and comment in my videos. In the end of this reading, there is stay towards the end because in the end of this reading, I answered three of your questions. Let me cut the cards. I answered three of your questions. Oh, it talks about leaving a situation behind. Abundance and prosperity. Looking at your money, my heiress. You feel like you have a lot of weight in your shoulders. Oh, the two cups. It's a relationship. <laughs> this is amazing, my heiress. You have the two cups followed by the 1111. I never see anything like it. This is amazing. How good is that? You have the King of Wands and you have the Hierophant. Oh my goodness, the possibility of marriage here is a strong, is the force. Ye yesterday was the uh, May 4th. So this, this reading, this is the force in here. This is the energy, like marrying, uh, uh, the energy of soulmate, it is really strong. It talks about a relationship or a situation that you are leaving behind because it doesn't longer serve you. It talks about that you just got tired of being hurt by this, um, hurt by this person. Um, this person will, will not respect your boundaries or will not listen to you when you tell them the, what do you want them, the relationship to be. Uh, it talks about that you thought the relationship was just too much of the burden for you to carry and just keep around the relationship. It was a lot of things going in that relationship that you decided to just leave it and let it go. Now, in the bottom part, it talks about a new person coming towards you okay it talks about um it doesn't specifically say if it's a new person or a person from your past because i don't have any cards that tell me that it's a new person i need to clarify the cards for see if i have a, a new energy but but it doesn't specify but you're gonna be in a new relationship when this person is gonna be your soulmate you got back to back the 11 11 car and the two of cups it means a, a soulmate relationship a relationship where you are well taken care and you have the king of wands this is going to be a relationship that is going to make you to feel so good this person is going to know how to take care of you really 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 well you have the hierophant car it it talks about the possibility of marriage or getting engaged with this new or this person that is coming towards your life I'm going to clarify the cards for see what else is coming towards you. Okay, and let's go and clarify the cards for see what else we have. When it talks about this person, this new person, you're going to be actually really surprised of this new relationship because this, this person is going to want to marry you. They're gonna feel that energy that you are their soulmate, and they're gonna want they're gonna want to formalize the relationship like really really soon. You're gonna be surprised about that. They're gonna want to find the way to formalize the relationship. 
Okay, it is time for you to don't think anymore about what this relationship from the past was all about, okay? Allow allow yourself time to heal from this relationship. It was a lot it was a lot for you to deal with this relationship from your past. It, it, like that person, it was like too much. Like it, he was too much to handle. So it is a time right now to make the decision to leave this energy from this person from the past behind and focus on the new things that are coming towards you, okay? And this new energy, this new romance that is coming towards you, you was wishing this on from the start. You was manifesting through your prayers, through your meditation, through um, your visualizations to have this relationship in your life. And it's coming towards you. And it's going to be a long-term relationship. It's going to be a soulmate energy. And you're in the right path right now. Forget the blessings for that for the new relationship. You need to leave that behind. You need to leave that behind. And it's, it's a lot of uh, happiness coming towards you. You are in the path of enlightenment. So you're gonna know how to react to the new things that are coming towards you. Give me just a minute, my kids are killing each other. Yes, you are in the right path towards enlightenment. To, it's gonna be a lot of joy and contentment and you're gonna feel a feeling of gratitude because of the things that are coming towards you in the next couple months okay um you're gonna you're gonna get rewarded it is coming it's money coming towards you really soon okay it talks about the possibility of you going back to school learn a new uh job or um or the opportunity to invest um your money it's gonna be up to you okay what you decide to do but the energy is there for a new job or for a new learning opportunity if you want to come back to school okay no everybody wants to come back to school and learn something new but if you want to do it the energy is there for you for you can learn something new okay Okay, let's see. I'm kind of curious. I want to know what card is going to come to clarify the lover's card. Yes, and you need to take a leap of faith. I cannot believe the fool. Uh, the leap of faith in this relationship. For this relationship can work. This person can be... Um, this person can... This person can live long distance from you, can be a long distance relationship. So you have to be able to open your mind and think about the ways that you can um, keep the relationship going, okay? And you're going to change the way you th you see things. This person can be a person that is not your usual type, okay? Can be... Um, someone different, okay? So be open to be a person or the the type of um the type of a person that you that you are not used to having a relationship with, okay? So be open, be open for this. Make sure that you keep your money safe. It's a lot of energy for money coming towards you, but you have to make sure that you use your money wisely, okay? Make sure that you use your money wisely. And it, now it talks about the time when this relationship is coming. You have to let control issues to go. And it's going to come. It's, you're going to feel like it's going to take a while, but it's going to come, okay? This relationship is coming towards you. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to be here. Let me use the oracles, the Roman oracles angel, for see what else uh, they wanted to tell us about this new relationship that is coming towards you. Okay, let's see. This relationship can be affected by children. Did you have children? He had children. And you deserve to be loved, my heiress. You are lovable. And you deserve this, this that is coming towards you. It talks about release your ex. Look. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot make this stuff up. 
and it's gonna be a relationship that it's gonna be it's gonna be you a lot of romance okay um it's gonna be beautiful i see the energy here and the energy of that new relationship it's gonna be so so beautiful so so beautiful um okay let's see if we can get the message from the moon for my heiress and this is the time that i'm going to uh get your answer for your question so think about what do you want to ask me for i can just answer your questions okay let's see if we can get i think that i'm gonna do it this way the way i was this time bring love bring love into the situation is the new moon in the in aquarius okay bring love to the situation yes it's a lot of love coming toward you my heiress so it's gonna come you're gonna bring it it's gonna bring that everybody's gonna bring a lot of love it's a lot of love coming towards you my heiress so you don't even have to worry about that okay energies to answer the questions for my heiress think about your question that you want to ask me Focus your energy in that. And it can be three questions, it can be two, it can be one. It's your choice, you pick a car. Okay, one, two, and three, okay? So car number one, question number one for some of you. Car number two, question number two for some of you. Car number three, question number three, okay? First one. It is a maybe, okay? It is a maybe. M maybe towards yes, okay? It is a yes. And it is a yes, okay? Yes, my heiress. Beautiful, okay? Um, I love you guys so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.